I'm Lynn and here's what happened last night and today at Utopia Farms. In a hurry, time's money. Yeah, see the tail going? That's a real indicator that he probably locked on. Suffix think that the straw bale's a challenge. Okay, so we let all the mums out first, one at a time. Rethinking. Gluttony. Let's get started. I got a few minutes uh, today. So this is my group that's going to have lambs. There's no one, having, no one having lambs right now. So I just put up this temporary wall right here. And this holding pen right here. And I'm going to do some clean outs uh, today. Because we don't clean out like every time. So we let the pack get quite high before we clean out. And we're going to run the use uh, right down this pen here. And I want to clean out this pen here. These are all these first timers that were bred late. And we brought them in here yesterday. And the manure passed quite high in the manger. So what we did here was the rams were getting caught in these, uh, in these spaces right here. That are only seven inches apart. And that was a mistake I did when I manufactured these panels. So uh, what, ha what we did was, we were in a pinch. We cut every, one, every other one out that the rams wouldn't get caught in there for breeding. And that's what it looks like, every other one out. But now the sheep are actually pulling the hay out. So you see how high that pack is right now? So I'm gonna spend one hour. You can, I don't know if you can really take the feel of it there, there's about there's about a, at least a foot of manure there, or 16 inches of manure. So this uh, this panel comes down. I'm going to clean this whole barn out today and put a brand new bale of straw in here before they have lambs. <coughs> and I guess these, Lynn says that these sheep are two weeks away, a month, two weeks, and they're all going to have lambs. So I'm going to do that today. And right now we're going to open this gate, we're going to move the sheep over to another pen and see how that goes. I'll just lock this for a, for a second and see if they want to come out. Hey girls, do you want to come out? You know what it's like, just leaving the gate open, all of a sudden everybody just takes off. Let's see if they want to come out or not. Hey Bobs, come on. Let's go! Come on, let's go! Come on, guys! Let's go! Well, most times they come out faster than that. See how much they're jumping down there? It's, it's actually quite a manure pack, so... I'm thinking I'm going to go in there and give them a little hand. Hey, girls. They need a little, a little bit of, a, of an encouragement. So they're, they're pregnant. I don't want to run them too hard. I don't want to have any stress. Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on. In a hurry, time's money. So, yeah, they, they got to step down in there, which they don't want to. Come on, girls. Come on, shh, shh, shh. let's go. If one go, they'll all go. Come on, shh, shh. come on, let's go. Let's go, come on, let's go. Come on, you guys, don't make it difficult on me. Come on, let's go. Come on, ho. Oh. Come on, let's go. There they go. There they go. They're all showing good lambs, so. There's only two old ewes here, right at the back here. And all the rest are first timers. I don't know why those two old ewes are in this group, but... Okay, they're all out now. Let's shut this gate. 
Come on, Ross. Come on. Chill. And they... And they... Uh, they should just go around the corner here. Come on. Come on, guys. Once one goes, they'll all go. They're going in there now. And hopefully they don't jump over that wall. And it'll take me about, uh, it'll take me about an hour to get rid of that pack. Uh, getting around those, around those posts is a little difficult, but uh, I'll take my time, I'll get it out. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Go. Oh, really? I was gonna have a little bit of a dummy here. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. In the barn. Come on. Come on. So, come on. Shh, shh, shh. Hey. Come on. Come on. And they're just gonna stay in this pen for a few minutes. They're a little crowded, but I mean. Life's not perfect. <laughs> They'll be fine. So uh, this wall, this wall here just comes right out. This panel, and I'll scrape it out, and I'm going to clean it out with that right there. My favorite little toy. So I'll get that done. And tell you how that turned out. You can see there in the major how high that pack is. We told you yesterday that those little Dorset ewes are going to be leaving their high rise apartment today and going into the bottom level. And that's what Arnie's doing. So, one hour later, I took the whole pack out. And I actually just used an, um, an old bale, an old round bale I had for the first, um, first rolled out for bedding, just an old round bale. There's Scotty. And now we're going to bring them in and see how they like it. So they've been in here for a few minutes. They're very unhappy about that. And we're just going to see what they do here. pen for them <laughs> look a lot smaller now Yeah, you can, you can, if these sheep uh, were not bred, they'd be running up and down the pen in the clean, in the clean bedding. But they're not in the running mood because they all got uh, probably heavy lambs in them. So, what are you thinking, Scotty? Scotty. Yeah, they're not too excited, but no, well, 
They got a nice clean pen, nice and dry. No manure smell, hopefully. And this side still has the path in it yet. If I have a moment, I'll probably clean this side out too. So that's where it is. So sorry, I just came to the barn at uh, 8.30 to do my chores. So I'm quite busy right now. She had this lamb already, put in the jug. And look, he's got a black nose. Actually, it's a little girl. Actually, it's not a little girl. It's a good, good sized girl. So she only has a single lamb. She's actually, uh, huh? Yeah, she's had lambs before. So she's a red tag. So this will be her second lambing. So Lynn will, will tell you in the morning what her history is. Uh, but this year she only gave a single. And I'm fine with that. If she raises that single, could be a real keeper. So, like I say, got a nice little black nose. And I just fed it. She's got water. I'm going to get a little bit of a hay in that new feeder for her for this evening. And uh, she's extremely jealous of it, so she doesn't want me touching it. And it wants a nurse already. She's got lots of milk, too. I just checked her. Milk and boosted. She had a beautiful head on her. Oh, real nice head. Nice long head on her. Anyways, enough of that. I'm going to keep going. I got to feed two round bales and feed a ball, feed Maisie. And I got to feed all these lambs over here while Lynn's in the house waiting for me. No, I'm just kidding. Lynn's, uh, I, do, I, do the, I do the night checks. That's a little gift I do for Lynn. That lamb's going to get on here in one second. He's trying really hard. Oh, see, see her crouch over like that? See her bend over, inviting the lamb in, and I'm thinking, when that tail, when that tail starts to, starts to waggle, there it goes, see, she, he's on. Watch this, watch that tail go. Are you on, buddy? He's trying to find Once, yeah, see the tail going? That's a real indicator that he probably locked on. But anyway, I'm not worried about this lamb at all. This lamb will be fine tonight. So this is a pen we cleaned out today. These are all due in two weeks to have lambs. Pretty well all. All of them are pretty well first time dorsets. A couple crosses in there and two older sheep in this group. In other words, they're all first one time uh, first timers. All cleaned out. And Scotty's looking real sharp there. Hey Scotty. And so that's done today. Let's see if uh, a couple of stuff is hanging back here. I don't know what's going on here, but we'll find out. So I'll shut this light off. It's about 9.30 right now, so I'm done all the bottles. And... We'll just see what's going on here. So the only thing I see is, is, pro is a problem here is uh, that sheep right there is a stealer. And I'm not sure uh, if she's gonna calm down or is she actually in labor. So, I might, uh, I might only get ready and clean up and get, have something to drink and, um, yeah, I'm nervous about her, so I don't, I don't know, she was stealing the lamb a few minutes ago, so that could be an indicator that she's going into labor, or it's just a false call, eh? Oh. These lambs are all leaving to the cover all tomorrow, so that you in the center of the pen there, that's Suffolk, is not feeling very well, and she had a little bit of uh, of a dirty nose. So I'm wondering if she has a little bit of a lung infection or a cold. So I did give that you uh, some drugs tonight, and if I'm right, 
uh, she'll feel better in the morning. And if she doesn't feel better in the morning, there's something wrong with her. So I'm going to, I gave her drugs. We'll see in the morning what happens there. These two lambs are doing good. They're, uh, they're about uh, 20 hours old right now. All these lambs here are, are ready uh, to go out. Tomorrow, when that pen leaves, this pen, these guys are all gonna go out in the holding pens. This lamb's doing fine. These are all doing fine. She hasn't cleaned yet. She just had lamb an hour ago. Her lamb's already up. This lamb was born this morning. It's doing fine. A single. A pair of twins there were born. They're 24 hours old now, I think. And uh, a pair of single here somewhere right there having a nap. So I think uh, I'm going to get cleaned up, calm down, get ready to hit the sheets. And probably an hour before I fall asleep, an hour and a half, I will come back and uh, check up on that you that's crying to see if it actually is a labor or if she's just calling the bluff. So I just woke up. And I uh, just walked in the barn and she had this lamb on her own. Hey, Mom. And uh, it's a little male lamb, lamb from Felon. And uh, she, she has quite large teeth. So uh, when Lynn gets here with me this morning, I'll just hold her and we'll get rid of some of the pressures off that, uh, off those large teats that to make sure that lamb can get locked on. He'll be fine. Lot, she has lots of milk. She could have had triplets, but she had a single. But she's a first timer. So she's got to learn how to be a mom. And the lamb's a little bit cool right now. He's fine. I just fed him, so he wants to have a nap. He was stressed out with a whole bunch of ewes in the pen. So right now he's got a nice warm, clean straw. With a nice towel, towel. And uh, I'm going to have a quick cup of coffee with Lynn. And then we're going to start chores. Today is another straw day. We're going to bring some more lambs over here. So we want to make sure it's nice and clean. Suffolk pen. Wait, there's a lamb under there. Where the Suffolks think that the straw bale's a challenge. We'll see if my little pet you lamb comes over. She's really friendly for some reason. Hi, it's you, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, you guys. Their favorite day. This is where the lambs inevitably turn into popcorn. Hi. And that's what we mean by popcorn. They're just standing there and all of a sudden jumping in midair. Expecting that it's gonna bring them some a bale of hay. On on the other side, there's a 
cluster around the skid steer. Something new, eh? They're really at that curious stage. There's some leftover. We're going to put it back into the front pen. totally fascinating to them. So that Arnie has to drive super slow. Mm -hmm. Hi. This girl here is one of my favorite ewes in the Suffolk group. She's not the big one that we picked up the other day. This one's um, a shorter ewe. But she's really, really nice. If she'd come over here, we could have a better look at her. I came over here to get a front view, so she immediately turned around. Oh, she's right near my gladiator room, too. I want you to see the face because face is part of it. What suffix if you're breeding for type? There she is. There's the two of them. Hi, honey. There she goes. There she is looking at me now. The one in the background there. Aren't you lovely? <laughs> While this lamb's being friendly, I can show you how underneath the wool's starting to get white already. See? They lose the black. And the white grows in. Okay, now he's gonna feed the hay. They saw the hay coming over here, so they're all going through the creep door. Not our sheep. Is it 85? So, is it a you? Oh, it's a you lamb. Oh, number six is nice. Yeah, she's a twin too. Twin too. No, the sixes are twins. Hi, buddies. Is that good? Looks pretty yummy. See, they have grain there, but they're choosing the hay over the grain. You like those little alfalfa leaves? Rams are real happy now because they have this entire barn for a little while anyway. And they're starting to get along a little better. Just when we walked in here, Cash and Klondike were lying side by side because they're past buddies. Well, I'm going to give a bill of hay after lunch. I think you guys are a little hungry. Are you hungry? Are you guys hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah? Yeah? You guys are hungry. I can see that.
It's coming. Okay, this is the afternoon. I'm going to gather up the lambs in this part of the barn. Put them into this catch area that's been set up. And Arnie's just feeding a bale of hay while I do this. And we're going to load up a trailer for the coverall so that we can let a bunch of lambs out of the jugs, finally. Okay, I gathered them all up. We just loaded them onto the trailer here. That's why there's a lot of noise. They're up in the front of the trailer. So they call in their, so they call in their moms, but they won't get trampled. the door sits. But they're in now. So because we have a mixed group here, we'll be offloading them uh, one breed at a time. Those lambs were five days old. Well, actually no, some would be six days old and others were just a couple of days old. But I'll tell you, those six day old lambs were heavy. <laughs> so this is the most awkward part, getting around these bales. But such icy conditions. All week we were supposed to melt, but never got close to melting here. Okay, so we let all the mums out first, one at a time, and put them in the appropriate pen. So I think we added four to the Suffolk pen, and six to the Dorset pen. So now they just got to settle in. Already they're settling in, and Ernie's still maneuvering the trailer, so. Now we're gonna go let some lambs out of the jugs. Okay, this is the first you gonna be out. These guys are gonna be happy to be out. Yeah. Some nice Dorset twins. They have no issues. They're good to go. Here comes mom and one of her lambs. Here comes the other one. He's a little fast. Come on, <laughs> follow your mom, follow your mom. She went in there, follow your mom. There you go. Two more out here waiting for mom to join them. She's struggling a bit more than normal getting her hoofs trimmed. So I got them out of the way. Come on, mom. That way, that way. There you go. That's the thing sheep get into. Here's a mother who thought the creep area looked better. But now she's totally wedged in the bars. I can't get her back because the bars are behind her shoulder blades. So somehow we gotta wrestle her out of here. What were you thinking? Gluttony. That's it. Pure gluttony. That's what I mean. That wasn't a smart move, was it? 
her lambs think it's a smart move because now she can't move and they can drink as much as they want. So we have to unhook the bars and get her out. And it'll be curious to see if she's in here again or if she learned her lesson. So if I develop a hearing problem, you'll know why. Anyway, that's a good time to end the video. Hope you enjoyed yourself today at Utopia Farms. If you did, be sure to join us again tomorrow because we'll be here. Bye for now.